This is a fountain pen demo. I am going to share today a few of my favorite fountain pens that I'd like to draw with. Um, there's quite a few out there. I really enjoy the Pelican M200 fountain pen. Now, this fountain pen has a gold nib, which means it's a little bit more flexible. And it's a little bit more expensive as well, but it's well worth it. And it's kind of a medium nib. Uh, so this lays down a line that's really nice and even. As I draw through here, you can observe that uh, it stays pretty even. The line weight doesn't really fluctuate all that much, which is really nice. And uh, thinking about uh, when I'm drawing, and in this case I'm drawing a, a kind of a blind contour drawing. My next favorite fountain pen is the Noodler's Ink Ahab Flex Nib. So this nib has a steel nib and it actually uh, flexes a lot. So you'll get a, a very varying the weight and uh, and sometimes if you're drawing really fast it's a, it's a much messier pen so you will get some spatters as well which is something that I really like to do. Um, one of the reasons I like fountain pens on the go when I'm out drawing uh, in the field is that it can emulate some of that um, the uh, spattering and some of the, the line weight shifting of what you would get with a dip pen or a crocal pen when you're dipping it into an inkwell. So that's a little bit more difficult to do on, on the go. Of course it is possible, but something that can kind of emulate that and keep you a little bit more efficient in your, in your uh, gear is this Flex Nib by, uh, by Noodler's Ink. So you can see that it really does uh, flex a bit more and shows a little bit more varying line weights, which I really do enjoy. And the kind of ink I like to use is the Noodler's Ink American Eel. This is a waterproof black ink and uh, this pen just ran out of ink so I'm going to go in and fill it up. It uses a, a mechanism that's already built into the to the fountain pen so you're not having to swap out cartridges and the sink works really well. It's one of my favorite. It comes in many different colors. In this case I'm just using black and again this one's waterproof. Uh, the way this pen works is you it has a piston kind of mechanism that you stick down in there and, and you just kind of uses a vacuum or suction to kind of draw the ink back up into its reservoir body. Now again this is a this particular pen's really kind of messy so you can see I'm getting some ink all over me but that's kind of the the price you pay if you will so that uh, the body just screws back on and I'll remove this out of the way and I will continue on with my drawing And the next pen I really enjoy is the TW SBI Echo pen. Uh, this is a really fine line uh, version of this pen. And I've loaded it up with some red Noodler's ink. And in this case, this red is not uh, waterproof. So as you can see in my uh, a little bit later, uh, it will um, bleed when I apply water to it, which is a really fun technique to uh, play with. And I always keep a water brush pen in my pack when I'm out drawing. And in this case, it's really nice because it's already preloaded with water. 
and all I have to do is then apply it to my medium. In this case, uh, I've used this water soluble ink, so this red ink actually will bleed and uh, when I apply water. So this is pretty cool because then I can go in and quickly uh, wash in some color or some values. And here I'm just playing uh, just for the sake of demonstration, but as you can see, you can go in and really uh, have some fun with it. Uh, I'm laying it on pretty heavy, but as you, again, like with any water-based paint uh, and ink, you can kind of control that with the amount of water that you apply along with the amount of pigment. So in this case, it's working to just play around with this little double exposure image that I'm playing around with this portrait. And some of that black's still a little bit wet too, so you can see if it's not purely uh, thoroughly dried or cured, then the black will bleed as well. So which is kind of nice to get a little bit of gray in there. So this wraps up this uh, really quick uh, demonstration of some fountain pens and how they function. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.